Hey, what's up? Mirai here, and this video is going to cover some of the problems that you might encounter when using Interact with Target and Click to Move together. So you've got your team all set up and ready to go, and you go to interact with an NPC, but one of your characters refuses to move, and their talent pain or their specialization pain keeps popping up. Well, that means the IS Boxer add-on is disabled. So log out the affected characters to the character selection screen and make sure that their eyes boxer add-on is indeed enabled. When the eyes boxer add-on is enabled, then the click to move bindings will be correctly bound to the macro stored within the add-on itself. However, if you're below level 10, then you won't see either one of those panes pop up because you can't actually access them until you are level 10. So I suggest that you still double check that the add-on is enabled in that case. And if you verify that the add-on is enabled and Interact with Target is working when you're in close proximity to an NPC, but your characters still won't move toward their target when they're further away, then I would suggest either resetting your key bindings or checking to see if you have anything bound to Control-Shift-N or Control-Alt-N. To click to move or not to click to move? That is the question. Now, some Iceboxer users are thrown off by the fact that when using the default setup, click to move looks to be disabled all of the time because it gets toggled off after you're done using it. The main reason for this is so that when you are busy clicking things with your repeater enabled, your characters don't go running off in several different directions when you accidentally misclick. It can be incredibly annoying when this happens, and it's easily remedied by just using the standard interact with target mapped key. But if you insist that click to move be kept enabled at all times, then you obviously have that as an option as well. Once you graduate to using the interact with target function in combat, you're going to experience its biggest flaw. And that's when your characters go running off into the distance with the impression that they won't be returning anytime soon. It's not unlikely that this will happen, and it's not that there's a possibility that you won't see this, because you will see this, it will happen to you, and you will have to deal with it. It's just the way that it is. It's not a bug with IS Boxer, it's just the way that Interact with Target works because it isn't predictive. It's been there since day one and has an increased chance of happening the more you spam your Interact key. So to help minimize this, the obvious answer would be to use your Interact key sparingly and only when you need it rather than constantly spamming it. It also helps to ensure that the mob is stationary before interacting with it as well. I realize this is difficult in certain combat scenarios, but you'll just have to take your chances when such situations do arise. However, it doesn't matter how careful you are, runaways are inevitable. And like I said before, you will have to deal with them. So how do you deal with them? Well, the easiest way is to just press your interact key again so that your characters will re-interact with their target. But if the target is dead, then you can't do this. In that case, you'll want to press your follow key to bring everyone back to your main. However, if any runaways do happen to make it out of range of either follow or interact, then pressing a movement key will stop them in their tracks. Other than that, there's not really much else you can do and you're just going to have to be on point and ready to address the problem when it happens. Well, I think that about covers the caveats of interact with target and click to move. And if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat.